Welcome cloud lovers. I hope you all are fine. Today we will be going to create roles in IAM and let's see how to switch roles. So before we proceed, let's see what is IAM roles. So IAM roles are temporary permissions assigned to any user to access the AWS resources. If you want to learn more about it, you should refer to IAM docs that is free of cost from Amazon. Okay, so let's switch to aws.amazon.com and click on sign into the console. If you do not have free account, go to aws.amazon.com forward slash free to create your free trial account of one year. So here we are, we have to search for IAM that is Identity and Access Management Service. We are here on the dashboard. So in the dashboard, click on users. Here I already created two users that is demo user one and demo user two for your reference. Let me open demo user two because today I'm going to create a role around demo user two only. So here is the demo user two and the policy and permission provided to the demo user two is my demo policy. Let's see what policies are already assigned. It provides the permission of S3 and EC2 full access to this demo user 2. Okay. So we are going to provide a uh, load balancing access to this user now. So I'm already logged in in incognito mode with this user. So here you can see demo user 2 I'm logged in with. And here in the instances you can see there's no error but in load balancing there is error. Click on load balancers and let's see it says access denied because this user do not have access of load balancers. So click on roles, click on create rule. So I'm going to choose custom trust policy. If I will choose here, I will be able to edit the code and update the user ARN here. So go to principles and write down AWS Colon. Here you have to mention the users ARN. So you will go to user that is demo user 2 and you will copy this ARN from here. Then come here and paste it. That is it. Now scroll down and click on next. From here you have to select the policy which you wish to assign to this user. Last full access. Elastic load balancing full access. Select it and click on next. Role name. So you can provide any name for example my demo role. Description is optional. This is the demo user ERN. This is the code and click on create role. So that is it. We are able to create role. You can also check your role here, my demo role, which says it has permission of elastic load balancing. So I am already logged in with demo user 2 in incognito. Let's switch. So we are here on load balancing page and it says user access denied because this user do not have access. Let me zoom in. Click on username. Click on switch role. Click on switch role, mention the account ID, then mention the role name. So you can copy this role name by demo role and click on switch role. So here you can see we are able to switch the role. Uh, the role history says my demo role. That means we are in the role. And now if you refresh load balancing, we are here able to create the load balancers. That means this user now has the access to create the load balancing. And that was our motto today. So thank you so much for watching our videos. And in the next video, we will be going to cover CloudWatch and we'll see how to set up the dashboard. Thank you so much again and keep watching our content on Cloud in minutes. Bye-bye.